the perfect call. Tough to get it started in that early morning fall. As soon as I What's going down, everybody? We are back for another episode of Between the Barrels. What? What? How you doing today, are. Chad? I'm doing great today, Manny. We got another great guest on uh, this week of Between the Barrels, and we're pretty excited about it. And I'm just uh, honored that y'all have the first regular guy on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well. Let's kick it off. Who are you and what do you do, sir? My name is Brian McGehee and I own Gator Coolers out of uh, Thibodeau, Louisiana. It's been a fun ride. Yeah? Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so Gator Coolers, home of Louis- uh, Thibodeau, Thibodeau, Louisiana. I'm yeah. sorry. Where did that come out? How did that come about? That was uh, an accident in 2017. <clears throat> 2016, actually. Uh, my brother Mitch was uh, offshore okay. for Thanksgiving. And his relief didn't come in, so then he was looking, you know, tired of being stuck offshore. Let me find something to make some extra money. Been there. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was actually living in a camper, uh, I think at the time I was probably in Illinois or West Virginia or something. What and were he, you doing? You were like pipe welding or something? I was working on a pipeline, yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I don't remember what job I was inspector. on. <laughs> yeah. Just what I heard. Over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, he, he contacted us in a group message and said, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. And everybody was kind of like, you know, good luck. Let us know when they come in and yeah. we'll buy one. I was like, well, what are you waiting for? And he said, well, I don't have the money to start it. I was like, so I texted him on the side, like, I'd love to stop living in a camper. Yeah, for sure. And uh, traveling and watching my kids grow up on the phone. So yeah, um, I'll fund the first round. Then we'll pay me back and keep the business growing like that. Heck yeah. That's not at all how it went, but that was the plan. <laughs> but it just kind of happened from there. That was that was uh, November 2016. All right. January 2017, we formed our LLC. Yeah. And then in June 2017, we sold the first ice shelf. I've got a great product in uh, yeah. that new building in Thibodeau, right? Mm-hmm. That was all just meant to be. A lot of a lot of things, a lot of moving parts happened. A lot of things happened for that to just That's awesome. happen for us. You know, that kind of tied y'all to this place as well, it did. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I hadn't talked to uh, I hadn't talked to Nick or Noah in forever because I had left ten oh, years you were ago. In traveling Illinois, all over. like doing your thing, like working. I'd move, you know, six to eight times a year minimum. Right. So I'm all over the place for the last decade, and I just happened to catch a glimpse of an article. Uh, about you know a local distillery starting up in Homa, and I, I seen Nick's name. I'm like, man, that sounds familiar. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit! Like, oh, just my yeah, 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 this wow, guy. this is awesome. Well, then a few things fall into place, and ends up you know we're buying a distillery, um, which was a few monkey wrenches in it with the whiskey being left there. Donald Pelche builder, right? Yeah, right. and um, the only out was we had to find somebody with a bonded warehouse to get the whiskey out. Because you couldn't do so it. So you could put your ice in. chests and start moving. We couldn't it. even do the, the purchase agreement or the appraisal before really? the alcohol So you couldn't out. even finalize the whole deal. So that took us that the first half of, of the last building. year. The first half of last year was just spent legally getting everything finished and getting the alcohol yeah. over here. You know, I, I reached out to Nick and Noah and, and Rodney and asked if they would be cool with us storing the whiskey here. And working out something later, but for right now, I just need it out. Right, you need yeah. your building clear. Yeah, and uh, they asked if we'd be interested in selling it, and I don't really, I can't sell it, so I don't have a license for it. But we we were able to link that up, and uh, right. figure then they it out, the make deal. an agreement, and everybody's happy with. It. And then they're selling, you know, the agreement of the last batch of LA one, and the right. permission from Donna Pelche, and um, it all just worked out. That's awesome, man. man. That's awesome. Yep. When, when chips fall like that, it's real cool. When, yeah. Because it could help different local people out. It helps out Noah and them. It helps out you guys. Yeah. Everybody wins at that point. It's it like, even probably helped out Donna Peltry. They got out of it over yeah, there. Yeah, they and, got out of worrying about, and you know, how And it saved us a lot, be. too. Because yeah, uh, Noah was talking about if, they, if you guys didn't find nobody, like, the, they would have to destroy it or something like that. Was and that? paid the taxes on it. Right. Wow. Which is not a small number. No, watch someone destroy it and then pay And pay the taxes on it. <laughs> That's the key part there that really was blowing me away. Or we'd have to ship, you know, 20-something full barrels of whiskey to Tennessee or Pennsylvania or so wherever yeah, else we find it. Money costs it all either. Yeah, <laughs> it's you and your brother trying to do a startup. How are we going to get funding? Yeah. And then, so 
that wasn't even like we can't afford that cost. We got to find somebody, yeah. You know, that we can work a deal out with a handshake, a good down to buy a deal. Yeah, and, and I, I mean, we really bit off more than we probably should have tried to chew at the moment buying that building. Right. We just we got an amazing deal, and it's a great place, and I uh, just felt like it was the right thing for us to do to to take that leap. Right. But getting the whiskey out was a big deal. So how's it working out now? The building's, you know. It's working out great, man. We were operating out of the back warehouse for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, had everything kind of temporarily set up to where we can just keep keep operation going. But uh, we just moved into the front building. Um, in a couple of weeks, we have Hans guys from home come and paint a mural in our store. And that's like the last piece of our puzzle. That's awesome. So when that's done, then uh, we'll get inventory stock back up and we'll have our big grand opening. Um, that's I wanted to wait until everything was finished and not... Yeah, not, it, there's no point in rushing now, right? right. I mean, we were waiting for the. Right now, you might nah, as well just... bro, I'm way <laughs> past that. <laughs> way past that. But it's. I mean, we were waiting on this alligator mount that we got done. Dude, I seen that thing. It's That's amazing. pretty badass. It's so, amazing. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about that alligator. He's standing up on two feet. Holding in the, the building, because yeah. I actually passed down there sometimes as we're working in Chack Bay. Yeah. So it's kind of lit up, yeah. and I'm like, "That's I bad." Yeah. Cool. Bone. So. Tell us a story. Did you catch that thing? I didn't. I heard you wrestled it, actually. I did. I okay. wrestled it. Yeah, that's why I didn't catch it. I wrestled it. He, knocked, he tried to talk back. I choked him a little tight. That's, that's understandable. About. Dropped an elbow <laughs> on him. Right on, dude. Yeah. He watches UFC. He knows yeah. what's up. No, man, the, the truth about the alligator is um, this whole thing, We this was pre-COVID. So we were right. anticipating an alligator season grand opening. Right. And I reached out to a few people, and I know my friend ZZ Loop is the, the nuisance trapper. I'm like, bro. I need a big alligator, <laughs> and I don't know anywhere else to go to get one. And you know, hindsight, seeing how everything got shut down, and and I had, you know, our our lease had the best alligator season we've ever had. That's good. We probably could have waited and kept our biggest gator, and it'd been right. more of a story. But I, I like it that you know ZZ's a local guy too, and and he caught the alligator. Uh, Mr. Tom Candy's that mounted it. He's a local guy too, so it, it all just that's just it's adds to the story. Got a few yeah. more people involved in the story, yeah. and that makes yeah, it cool. cool. But that's fine with me, man. It's it's a little weird. I, I didn't know how I would feel mounting somebody else's alligator, right? But it's a uh, it's all for our brand. It's, it's not just it's not piece, about me, though, right? It's, it's about it a business. Came out awesome with the cooler yeah. and shit. I love it. And yeah, Tom did a great job with it. It's, he yeah. put a little crawfish on there and. Raccoon tail in the cooler. I mean, it, it came out yeah. way better than I thought. It's it got a lot of character yeah. to it. So, did, I mean, is that where Gator Cooler came from? The you know your Gator form hunting so the, gators. Or the first the, uh, <laughs> the first name of Gator Coolers was actually going to be Cool Ass Coolers. <laughs> Man, <laughs> like that I like the, Gator <laughs> right. Coolers. It's copyrighted cool. already, bro. So don't worry about it. No, but it's our logo was going to be the raccoon with icicles hanging off his butt. And I'm like, bro, we can't market that. We're going to be a 40 year old birthday gag gift yeah, yeah so right. we, sure. we can't make that a business so uh then we just threw some things back and forth and then we threw the, the gator it's i mean we trap gators here we're in yeah. south louisiana and it's everywhere i sense. travel man people people think we're insane because we have alligators they, they're infatuated with it yeah, all over for the country sure. yeah but so it just it fit and we and i just was started thinking in my mind like all the different aspects of marketing and branding that we can tie into that make it cool and make it where people would want to be a part of it. Right. So we just kind of ran with it. I love like the slogans, cold-blooded to the core. I yeah. think it that, fits, right? It's it perfect. Yeah. That is, y'all bang that, that out. Is that is perfect. It's way awesome. better than the first one of our prices don't bite. That's, <laughs> if, that one didn't work out. I'm glad y'all didn't go yeah. with that one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to just be another Me Too company or another copycat or yep. whatever. Like, we put our, our spin on everything. Right. And uh, there are a lot of copycats out there and a lot there of people is. that are just trying to Oh, I can do that and sell it for five dollars cheaper, but that right. doesn't no. that doesn't last. So I want to make a better product and improve on stuff that I thought could be improved on. Yeah. And I think you do. I mean, you got the you know the little, it's working little data so signs in there, and uh, you do different color combinations that yeah. you know Not you don't do normally the see. On them and shit. Right. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's, a, it's like anything in seen. life. I mean, you pay for. You get what you pay for. Yeah. But, but I mean, y'all are doing a lot of different stuff with the, uh, y'all laser engraving the, uh, the customizing is huge for us it's now, yeah. really, really cool. Y'all yeah. doing cups and y'all doing your own brand of cups or you It's all of our own. Anything? It's all of our, we mostly do our own brand of stuff. Uh, if somebody comes in, we have a laser or multiple laser machines uh -huh. and CNC. So, I mean, we offer that service if somebody comes in, but it's set up already, all the jigs and all the. Uh, it's settings it's, it's all set to our stuff already yeah, so right. um to do somebody else if they come in with a cup right 
a it's, more, a it's, 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 it's rough, not as right. easy as putting it in a machine and hit and go. You right. know what I mean? So, Somebody got 250 cubs they want to run. I can make it work. Right. Because yeah. it, it's worth the time <laughs> if you yeah. have to right. Still got a light bill, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You don't want to do it, but. Right. I'd right. prefer if it was our cup. So, I mean, but we, we've been really, uh, really competitive, really successful with the drinkware line and um, adding more sizes and colors soon. Uh, we just got a new laser that's dedicated only to drinkware, so that way we can pump stuff out a lot that's faster. That's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. But it's I it's like a huge wear. it's a yeah <laughs> it's a huge investment. So it's um, I can tell you're drinking out of a styrofoam cup. Yeah, tonight. that's only tonight. You maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, future plans to kind of branch out a little bit more? You got the drinkware. You got ice chest. What a else? Lot. What's next? Uh, a lot, man. But everything to do it right. It's so expensive. Take your I mean, time. You can, you can guarantee $100,000 per product that you want to expand to. Yeah. Because you have the design fees, the testing, the molds, the initial inventory. And if you start with five different colors and three different sizes, well, now you got 15 different SKUs. Right. I mean, it Options adds up fast, are. man. It does. But we are spreading to uh, the marine side and doing boats now. That's cool. I, th- I saw that boats, uh, yeah. you did a pro drive recently. That looked- yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they were coming out really good. I mean, it's we just started doing that um, kind of out of accident. So I did my brother's boat right. one night, um, one late night at the shop, <laughs> and it oh, came out great. And, oh yeah, <laughs> it came out great. And you know, a few people were asking us about it, so decided, well, let's try to do it. Uh, right. We bought the machine to professionally scan it, and that way we're not just measuring with tape measures and ink. Yeah, getting it close enough, we're getting it. Right. right Precise. On. Yeah. Everything, the pictures I've seen, I mean, it looks legit. You know, it's coming out great, man. We're But we are able to cut out a lot of the, I guess, process yeah. that you would normally go through because we do it all in-house. We have the scannings in-house. We have the digitizing in-house. We have graphic designers. We have the artwork. We got any kind of artwork you need over there. You know That's what I mean? Awesome. But it's, and then we, we're cutting on the CNC machine, CNC machine there. Uh, we have the option to do like full photos on the laser, so it's and we really? have a huge laser, so it can fit a 40 inch piece in there as opposed to just something real small. So, so y'all down to do any boat? I mean, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, and we're working on getting a few, uh, we have a couple contracts now, uh, working on mostly going towards the manufacturers, yeah, and right. getting in from the ground level when they're building a the boat and just having it as an, an added option, right? Hey, you could add this to a package, yeah. that's really cool, that's yeah. cool, and then. Uh, Upgrading the boat, we just had a guy bring in a bass boat, man, that he ripped out for his son, a uh, high school fishing team, and he ripped the carpet out and just replaced it, but he didn't paint the fiberglass or nothing, and it was like night and day, yeah. the difference on this boat. Really? I mean, it's, yeah, and it's, uh, and the stuff's going to last them now, you know, it's not going to have to worry about it. Yeah, that, that's that, cool, too, them high school fishing teams, that's, that's, that's a different. new thing to that's me. That's a new yeah. thing, too. He came to me and said something about a high school fishing team, I was like. They didn't have that in high school. No, no. It, this is like a four-year or sort of thing, thing I was like, this is. You know, no, this is a big deal. got a fishing team. Vanderbilt got a fishing team. This is a big deal. Fishing team, bowling team. They're about team, to go to Kansas or team, South Carolina or something shit. to yeah, go fishing. This is insane. Yeah, it's crazy. That's good. So the coolers, uh, any logo, uh, in, any color option or the color limited options, to the color options? Limited to what we have. We've, we've done custom stuff, but we just have minimums. I can't do one right. of a random color. Uh, we have minimums from our manufacturer. So purple and gold with a, a spilled liquor logo on top are good? We or carry that? them. Yeah, okay. We carry we those. Good. Look, we need to get those for sure. For like somebody that may or may not have had a birthday or something like that. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Well, even just birthday uh, option, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever. No, we have uh, the purple and gold. Uh, we got purple cups now, too, so I know you are well, this one is from our Padnaz. I see that. Logan Babbin. I see it. That's all right. I don't discriminate. <laughs> no, no. This, this That's all right, Logan Babbin. Former guest. Oh, 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 it's all right, man. It's, all right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but hey, be local. My dad still uses his Magellan, so, I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't get mad about it. <laughs> Talking about local people and getting involved with that. What kind of collaborations are you doing, local sponsorships and uh, kind of the people that you're working with, kind of little projects you got going on right now. So whenever I started Gator, me and Mitch back in like 2017, it was I didn't realize. Uh, first of all, I've been gone for a decade, so right. I, did, I did I was out of the loop for a while. But then whenever right. you get back, I guess when I left, I was still a kid. When I come back now, I'm you're a man. I'm owning yeah, the business, a, right? So it's, it's different, and you're in a different level of people. But then, right? Um, I wanted to. 
I wanted to help the area. I wanted to make it better and try to improve a lot like Noah's doing with this place, you know, like keep some of the old school stuff, but yeah. just be able to help and, and make it cool and make people just, yeah. you know. Want to come hang out. Exactly. Like, hey, make it a, cool make place it a place. To be. That's yeah. what we want to do. Yeah. 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 That's, sure. that's where the mural comes in. That's where the alligator comes in. And we have plans for events and stuff at our place too whenever it all gets set up. Right. But um, I didn't realize how many people that, that just own in this business would kind of make me cross paths with. Um, so we there's so many local people that do so much behind the scenes that you would never know about uh-huh. that are pulling strings and making stuff happen that yeah. you would never know about. Right. And I came into it and we're taking on investors and some of these different people approached us. And now we have like Matt Ori, Jeremy Landry, Barton Howard. Those guys are just, they don't like the spotlight and they'll probably hate that I said that, yeah. but it's, they're so I know Barton, just freaking helpful. Yeah, Barton's right. cool. And they're just yes. invested in the community. Yeah, Matt's and they they all have the same like goal really of like we just want to see they want to see everything grow, want right. to make it better. They want to make it better for their kids. Exactly, just like what you want to do. You just exactly. We're talking off camera. You mean you got three kids? You want you want them that better than what you have? Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, getting in with those guys and getting into, um, I really have it on my chest to just do something with like the Children's Museum and, mm-hmm. and Thibodeau. Um, and just different organizations like that, and then getting into fundraisers where with some of the local schools for our drinkware, and we're, we, I, I bought a hundred thousand dollar laser to be able to pump these cups out at a reasonable price, fast enough to where they can sell it as a fundraiser at a reasonable price and make money. And, and everybody's make a little exactly because that's the whole deal of a fundraiser, right? Absolutely. But instead of us shipping the cups off and having them done somewhere else. Or Close having to pay much. more. Yeah, and it takes way too long. Right. You could do them right there in Thibodeau. We do. Everything that, that is customized is done in Thibodeau. Right. So from, is from it Jackson Street, Street right there? I know St. it's Patrick. Jackson Street. Okay, it turns over to St. Patrick. Across the bayou, yeah. Right, yeah. Yep, kind of the service road behind Academy. Right, long, yeah. That's where I... Uh, how long does it take to do a cup? How long it used to take us. Yeah. So a, a standard logo... Um, like the Bayou Terrebonne Distillery logo might take four minutes, and I had a laser that would hold one cup at a time. Uh-huh. Four minutes, lift up the lid, take the cup out, and then you're wipe, wiping it with a bleach wipe, uh-huh. Clorox <laughs> wipe, Jesus. to get it, yeah. And you're getting this, this little faint film off. You can run it twice, or then you're eight minutes into the cup, but right. take it out, and while one's running, you you wiping it off. Yeah, right. With this pandemic, dude, you can't fine Clorox wipes. No. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I was point. in a bind there. They still yeah. are hard to phone. Yeah, yeah. good point. Right. Right. I was in a bind. Like, whatever into this shit and it's still hard to phone. I'm like phoning friends way up trying yeah. to find, I'm wasting favors on Clorox wipes yeah. but with this new laser we have, I do a whole case of cups in like six minutes. Sure. Case is what, like 25? 25, 25, 25 yeah. cups in six minutes? Yeah. That's and a, there's you gotta no, wipe them down and off? There's no wiping after that. Like, we need another person just to rebox the cups fast enough to keep up. I was kind of stressing. Them out. I was stressing when this guy, like, I held off on a, a lot of the cups before the laser came in. Yeah. And we got it, and this guy flew in from California to come train us on it, and yeah. it was all great. And I'm like, dude, I got like a couple thousand cups to do. Like, this, we need to make this work. Yeah. And we were finished that day. Well, really? This is like a month's worth of work before. Real? Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, but it's the difference of, of, of going to a, a Ford dealership and saying, okay, this truck's okay, it'll fit what I need, I can make it work with this truck, or right. going to an engineer and saying, hey, here's what I want to do, build, build me a truck, truck specific. Yeah, yes, build it for me, it's yeah. more of a custom machine well, made like, for drinkware. And I like that you you know, you know did that thinking about your customers and thinking yeah. about you know the collaborations you want to do and stuff like that. Yep. I mean, that's really cool. That, you know, you went ahead and you spent the money. And it's it's an, investment, an investment up front. It's an investment in yeah. you and it's an investment in the community. Yeah, it is. And that's what's cool, bro, because mm-hmm. that's going to end up helping people out who are like, I don't want to wait like four weeks to get cups, man. I could go right there on St. Patrick and I could get cups in three support days. Lo- <laughs> yeah. Support local, baby. Yeah. And, and I'm supporting someone who's doing a great thing in the community because you guys are giving back. I mean, We do a ton of, and I actually do too much. I mean, I get in trouble all the time about doing too much stuff here. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's more of a, a giving thing for I me. I could see that anything. because you came over here and you had like 24 hats right. for us. It's like, <laughs> it's me and Manny and Mitch and Noah and like spilled liquor and he had like 24 hats. And it was like, nah. I got a, it's man, a, a lot. I got a cool hat though. I got a cool hat. It's just a thing, cold man. Cold blooded to the cold. That's right. I like it, man. But I mean like this, the, the Easter egg hunt. Yeah, so I went to that 
Really? Yeah. So them eggs were going like. A few. Like, uh, it was a few years ago. A couple years yeah. ago when we y'all had to did skip it. this year. Yeah, y'all had to skip this year. But uh, my wife said, "Oh, we got to go to this uh, East Egg Hut or whatever." Dude, it was awesome. Yeah, but over it, there by the at the Bayou the Sports, sports Park. Yeah. yeah, the Sports Park. It was before they started. Before Dean Schwest just started making yeah. everything in there. Awesome. It was a big open yeah. field. Yeah, yeah. Had Dean's right. rocking that place he out, is, bro. Y'all had Shout it going out to on. Dean. So I went to my uncle when I left. Like Easter was always a huge thing for us at the Shriver Gym. We'd have a, a oh, Easter, Easter egg hunt, and right. and my uncle put that on. Uh, I'm like, man, why don't we all, y'all do that anymore? All that budget got cut. Yeah, a couple hundred bucks, dude. Yeah, like, ain't <laughs> yeah okay, but the candy got a lot mm-hmm. more expensive mm-hmm. over 20 years. So yeah. you know, we ended up spending a, a good chunk of money on it. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, my wife, uh, Mitch's wife, Brittany. Myself, when I get off of work, our kids, we have people just stuffing eggs yeah. for weeks. And we, I, I forget, I don't know, it might be exaggerating. I think it's 10000 That sounds right. It might have been 4000 But either way, in my head, nobody responded to the Facebook event. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, either me and William's going to show up <laughs> or, like, it's going to be full. But we didn't know what to expect. Right. And whenever I'm out there, man, and we're like, everything's covered with the eggs, man, it's going to be great. Every kid's going to have a basket for it. Everybody's going to be smiling. Bruh, it was a freaking, turnout. People like yeah. kept pulling. They were still pulling up, and we were done. And I get in the middle, and I'm like, "Holy shit, there's a yeah. lot of people out here." Like those ten thousand right. eggs or whatever. Went Three, quick. two, one, go! And look, the kids that stopped to find out what was in that first egg, that was their only egg. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> the other kids that were like, "What?" That, 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 oh, them my, professionals. My daughter, my daughter was scooping that up like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, uh, professional, yeah. yeah. You test them after you open yeah. up to it. Yeah. But then, like, we spray painted uh, crawfish, crabs, and an alligator gold yeah. in the eggs. Right. And that was prize eggs. So if you won the crawfish, then you get a certain tier item, crab different, and the gator was the coolers. Yeah. That was so awesome, man. And yeah. just to be able to do stuff like that. But we spent a few thousand dollars on that kind of stuff. I want to be able to do a lot more of that stuff. Yeah. Right. And I wanted to be able to, to help out a lot more, like, of the schools here with the different fundraisers they have. For sure. So at the way that we were set up before, drinkware is a huge item, and they do something similar to that already. Um, but for the way we were set up before, I'd, do it. I'd be doing cups out. for three years just to try to keep up. <laughs> wow. And it, at the price it, that we had to do it at, month. yeah, it's not realistic. So now we're able to offer it, you know, at our highest tier discount with the lowest minimum buy-in, which is the case, and it's done faster. Well, it sounds like you got it going on over there, trying, man. man. It's, it's, the, it's too late to not have it. With, with all the stuff you got, <laughs> exactly. I told you I bought a hundred thousand dollar machine. I bet I have my uh, shit together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's Somebody true. Somebody got to pay for that thing, bro. But right, they always say it. you got to spend money to make money, man. Yeah, Absolutely. Dude, I've heard that so much. Yeah. So speaking of spending money to make money, Gator, ten years from now, it's uh, shit. At that point, it's twenty thirty one. Am I serious? Ten years. Twenty thirty one, bro. Yeah. Where's Gator Coolers? Where would you like to see you and your brother? Would like to see uh, this thing hatch out to, not to be too corny. Is this, uh, I like that, the hatch out. I like hatch that. out to it, bro. <laughs> There's a Gator fun right there. I like that. I saw what you did, man. Good job. Is this, uh, does, does things get to normal or do we still mm-hmm. do the pandemic stuff? Let's normal. say, let's say <laughs> six months from now, everything's normal. Okay. Ten Normals years can be, now. I mean, shit's never going to go back to what it was, but as right. normal as the new normal be. Right. So if you've seen our place, we have a good chunk of property right there still. Right. So the plan is to, I want everything on that lot to be as packed out on, you know, yeah. building on the side to go back to the ponds. Um, and then we have fulfillment centers strategically across the country to cut down on shipping prices. That'd be cool. Um, just grow the business in general and and obviously the more that we can grow the more that we can kind of help stuff that we want to do so we're adding a few um uh, roundup options on our website to be able to give to like the homeless house or uh wetlands restoration stuff here that's cool really want to make just something be able to make an impact here yeah that's awesome Awesome. how far do does gator uh coolers reach i mean where that's so in December, we're talking countrywide, worldwide. We ship them. Uh, we ship to Australia, Canada, Dubai, Japan. Dubai, uh, Dubai. it's in crazy. Japan. It's crazy. But just in December, for our Christmas sale, and we were limited on inventory. Like last year was insane. Which it's during COVID stuff. I can't. Right. Yeah. Whatever. You can't keep up with what you. Well, doing everybody. Man. Everybody Materials. had a crazy. You, it's right. A crazy Everybody's year, like right. that there. But for December, the month of December, we shipped out almost 300,000 miles worth of packages from our warehouse in Tibble. 
Yeah. It's like 292,000 miles That's worth of packages. That's pretty cool, man. It's awesome. That's awesome. And okay. what's the best part I'm about it is... I'm glad it's reaching out. It's right. everywhere. It's, it's yeah. definitely, if you look at a map of our stuff, um, you know, you think it'd be heavily here, yeah. but it's not. It really? It's, it's global. Yes, yeah, it's, it's everywhere across the country. Pretty even, kind of weighted towards the northeast. Um, we have a lot in this southeast region, but it, it's really crazy how far. So I remember the first time we have our, our phone set to the cha-ching yeah. when somebody makes it a purchase on the website. Yeah, you turned that shit off quick, didn't you? No, nah, that never gets <laughs> over. Never gets <laughs> over. Turn that off. Yeah. Huh? He's only got it on silent. That's why we're here right now. Ching, like, oh, okay, that's my buddy. I know him. Ching, oh, that's your wife's uncle. You know, we know him. And then, hey, you know that name? He's like, no, bro. We outside our circle. That's the best feeling in the world. That's pretty cool. And now there's there's literally, I mean, I don't know how many we sold forty thousand or so ice chests in the last couple years. Yeah. It's insane, dude, that people trust us that much, and they'll contact us. Uh, hey, I need to speak to someone in your marketing department. Or okay. I, need to, I need to speak to someone in your shipping department. I'm like, oh, please. Oh, please. Yep. Like, <laughs> back. Hello, they don't realize, like, shipping. for as big of a business That's- as we're performing to that expectation, how small of a business we, we really are. How many right. people? Uh, right. It's been me. Uh, Mitch has helped a lot, but his new role with Shell Kind of he keeps still him, got a big boy job. He still has a, a real job, yeah. I guess. Um, it's been me for the most part. Uh, we have one person that we just hired to kind of take over or start training for the store. And we have another person to take over the marine side with the boats. So four people? Three really and a half? Really three, yeah. Mitch, like right now, he's in Houston. <laughs> 40,000 so coolers with two people so, basically before all these other people. Well, before we started this, we were in a shed. We were in Mitch's shed, and then we were in a, a storage unit on Tiger Drive. And, and Mitch would go, I'm, I'm all over the country, Mitch would go before work, you know, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, get stuff ready to ship, and then his wife, Brittany, would go and just shuttle stuff to FedEx or UPS or post office all day. Wow. I love the uh, I love the dedication to make it work. We're too far in and not make it work. We don't really, why do anything half-assed, man? Like, why would you want to be okay at anything? That's what I'm talking about. Try, hey, I know a guy who's right. not okay at anything. Not okay at anything. I saw him with your cooler. Which one? Clay the Carpenter Guida. Clay Tell me that Guida, shit, man. Bro. Hey, oh, yeah. bro. Hey. Huh? So Let me know man about Clay. that, bro. So we were Tell talking, me that, man. We were talking about, you know, you coming on and right. stuff. And one of my favorite... Hey, hands I'm down. about to put the ponytail down and feather it out. Hands <laughs> down. The Carpenter, baby. My favorite UFC fighter of all time. That dude's a badass. But he, he showed me the picture. I was like, bro, that's pretty cool. No, he actually like, texted me earlier today. Be on the shows to shit. He texted me play. earlier today that uh, Rashad Evans and some more guys are going fishing with him and sending some stuff out for him. Nice. Oh, really? Clay's, Clay's an awesome guy, though, man. Like, some of these guys, I've been fortunate enough to meet, like, some really famous people <laughs> and some really cool people that I should never have been sitting in a room with. Like, I'm the regular guy at all the parties. But Clay is just a genuinely good dude. Right. It's just it's yeah, weird. Like Actually, I think we, uh, y'all were at my house the night that he fought the last time. We we took a selfie, all like yelling, and I sent it to him. And next day, he texted me back, and it's, it's he's just a, a really genuinely nice guy. That's yeah. awesome. He seems yeah. like it. I mean, he, but he's, he'll whip your ass. I mean, oh, he'll whip. Oh, he's you. a thousand miles. But that's an why hour. you got to have him on your side, right? right. So yeah. like he's kind of like the hey man, who's the hippie guy with the long hair? It's yeah. like oh, don't worry about little Clay. Don't yeah. just, that dude's a badass. Yeah, don't but if you keep. Him. You keep yakking at me, then always, you know you're always on. been my favorite man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on, man. So outreach is out there, and that's awesome to hear. Yeah. You know, that's great. That it's not just localized here. That's yep, perfect. And that's what you want, right? You want yep. to get out there, like you said, it's the coolest feeling in the world, outside your circle. Our first show was somebody coming up and telling us literally when the Superdome opened at the Sportsman Show in New Orleans. He walked up to us and was one of the first people in the door. This is our first experience with the public, right? Uh-huh. And he's looking. That's cool, boys, but you guys won't go nowhere. I'm right. like, holy shit, man. Hey, my name's Brian. Yeah. Like, how you doing? <laughs> he said, that's that's too much of a niche item. Like, alligators, you know, like, that's going to be, y'all are going to do really well here for, like, a gag gift. But, yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> I said, well, that's crazy. Like, nobody's ever seen a Yeti, and they sell a billion dollars worth of stuff every year. <laughs> right. So, Hopefully we get a little. I just want a slice of that. Yeah, pie, yeah. You know? give me no, a, just, give me a tenth yeah. of it. That's awesome. Fifth. Right. <laughs> it's just one of anything. Must be yeah. great. Uh, so one thing you have something going on too. Uh, I heard you're a Traeger guy. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. You like those yeah. little Traeger grills, and you uh, got something going on with those guys too, right? We like to keep 
it's it's tough whenever you have so many options out there, mm-hmm. and we have like some deals with certain people, and we know that we'll be doing certain things with those people. If I was uh, if I just went to Walmart and bought a pit boss, not knocking them, but if I just went by a pit I boss, like pit boss. It, I don't ha- I don't have anything to compare to Traeger to. They might be great, yeah. but I, I love the the Traeger and yeah, what they're right. about and and how Jeremy uh, grew the company and stuff. It's it's great, but I'm really good friends with like. Kendrick and uh, Mark Joyner, Skid Mark, but I can't have those guys at my camp cooking on a pit boss. <laughs> right. <laughs> because Benny literally gets paid by Traeger. Yeah. He's a Traeger guy. Right. Yeah. That's like, yeah. So then he'll do it, not that he's opposed to it, or he probably he might be opposed to it, I don't know, but probably but then be. I couldn't use the content. And, Correct. you know, then he misses out on the whole, hey, I'm in South Louisiana shooting alligators, which right. never happens. He's from California. Right. And then I miss out on him being able to post it to his people. And yeah. it, it just... I try to keep the circle as similar as possible without being exclusive to anybody to, to make anybody else mad. Right, that's smart, though. Yeah, that's but we, we have a really good working relationship with Traeger and uh, getting on sweepstakes with them and awesome. and marketing side and, and growing our connections then. I get a 1,000 emails a day from people. That's awesome. But yeah, brother the emails brother, don't mean anything. Ron loves them. He got Traeger grills. The Traeger's yeah. awesome, dude, but the, the emails... When people just reach out by email, since we get so many of them, it's hard for us to filter through. Yeah, for sure. But if you specifically came and said, hey, I know this guy, or hey, we're doing this thing, how would y'all like to partner up, or or like the event that Noah's planning here in, in April. Oh, are you talking about the Bayou Terrible Boucherie? <laughs> the what? <laughs> the Bayou Terrible Boucherie. But see, like, look, I love Sponsored it. Sponsored by Page Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but we get a thousand of those emails a day, and it's really hard to filter through which legit and what's right. probably not worth it. But the personal connection, yeah, is what's important to us, right. and They're having that nuns. relationship. You can't beat that. Nuns, yeah, you can't. So I mean, having them down to our camp and, and coming down there and shooting alligators and hanging right. out for the week and and cooking and just on his general. stuff that he promotes basically, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. so then now they get some really it cool content sense, that's right? not used to. You know, just his backyard in California. Now he's literally on our yard with an 11-foot alligator swimming in front of yeah. us. It's just, you don't get that every day. No, right? absolutely not. Yeah. not a, you don't You're get right. that every California. <laughs> no, that's cool. <laughs> right. And that's, it, you know, that's awesome with the relationship you got. Yep. What's the, uh, what's your favorite project you've worked on? Man, it's tough. I worked on a lot. Like, since, since I have the connections through Gator and we have the machines through Gator we worked on a lot of really cool stuff outside of that outside of Gator stuff mm-hmm. um, I don't know if y'all know Nick Lichtenstein we've helped him with a few trophy type things for some stuff he's doing with Ducks Unlimited yeah. Chad Belding's guy we sponsor um, out in Reno we've done some really cool stuff with him which leads into the Traeger and the Benelli and the um, awesome company Traeger's got, some, Traeger's got some good stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, they they got it going on. They yeah. got some nice grills. There is a community. That's Absolutely. not just a grill. You know what I mean? It's, it's, right. that's, and that's, that's kind of what we're trying to build with Gators. Gator, yeah. It's not just an ice chest. Like we include our social media is like ninety percent user generated content. Right. And I I like I don't want to go into a, a photo booth and get glamour shots of our products. Anybody can do that. But if no, you, you the, as a person bought it right. and now I'm reposting, you want somebody time to take that uh, take a picture of the back of the Kessler truck on the Using beach it. or something? Yeah, on the beach yeah. Saturday yeah. night in Tiger Stadium. You want that purple and gold chest with the yeah. <laughs> Next year, you without the LSU sticker. sticker. Without the LSU sticker, playing next year. You can't have the LSU sticker. sticker. We may or may not have gotten a letter from the lawyer trying to scare us. Really? No stickers from Academy on the ice chest. That's gonna be a problem for me because I love stickers. No stickers. Okay, no stickers. No. It'll be all good. I will. I'll save one. Cool without a sticker on it. Just take a picture from the other side. So let's talk. You the Gator man with uh, y'all got y'all got like land. Y'all do Gator hunting and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite Cajun dish? Does it involve alligator? No, no. I don't really eat alligator. I'm probably the least <laughs> Cajun Cajun guy <laughs> that you ever meet. Like I'm the chicken nuggets at the crawfish bowl guy. <laughs> Shut up. Where are you from? Now? Shreva. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure. I, I mean, I read your bio. I, I heard, heard you were from Shreva. But look, man, somebody <laughs> got to feed the kids, too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a couple of nuggets, <laughs> bro. You know what I'm saying? Man. We cook homemade chicken nuggets on the Traeger while 
Willie Wills back there boiling the crawfish and crab legs. I'll so everybody some, got a feast, man. Some of I'll the throw, kids came. Hey, look, I'm about it because I throw some crazy shit on the smoker every once in a while. So what is your favorite Cajun dish? Just Fuck, a good gumbo, chicken man. It's, I, good gumbo. You can't beat a good gumbo. Just yeah. chicken and sausage, you know. Bourgeois sausage thrown in there. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that's just. Yeah. Bourgeois sausage. Shout out to Bourgeois. Uh, Going to be one of the big sponsors of the Bayou Terrebonne Boucherie, Boucherie. April 17th. Did you, you don't know see, about it, you better find out, bro. Did, did you say buy your turbo on Boucherie? <laughs> Why be? I'm doing that every time. I'm sorry. Why Boucherie? Cook you can edit it out later. Cajun <laughs> Cup. You ever heard of the Olympics, bro? Axe What throw. about Cajun Axe style throw. Olympics? And I don't know if he knows it yet, Possibly but Axe Gator throw. Cool is going to be involved, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Gator Cool is trophies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gator, Gator Cool is cool We're going to yep. pay him some money and get him some cool so, trophies. Okay, so good. Uh, my next question, something you would like to see. What would you like to see the area grow into in the next few years? Man. I know you're heavily involved. And uh, yeah, bro. You, we talked about it earlier. You want to just see this area grow. You, you're involved with a bunch of people that want to see the same thing. What do you, what, what's your vision, man? I just don't understand why... Me as a young family or, you know, just people in general have to leave here yeah. to go and do stuff like see Christmas lights somewhere yeah. or like have somewhere for our kids to be involved and do stuff. Yeah. And it, a lot of the places like people just don't take pride in their property. I feel like absolutely we can definitely just make an effort and clean up um, some of the trash in the bayou is amazing yeah. to me that people even <laughs> consider that that's a, a thing. But I'd really love to be a push behind getting it all just cleaned up, get the museum kicking for the kids. When I lived in Houston, my kids loved, loved the, the Children's Museum. Right. I spent and some time in the last couple And Thibodeau got yeah. like one that could be really cool, bro. It could. Like, and there's no reason why they should struggle for funding right in now. the area they're in with Absolutely the people that's not. in this with area. the money that's in that area. That there's no hospital's reason. hospital's right there. Right. That, that generates billions of dollars right here and we have Nichols, which is a really cool college and yeah, the campus is. is getting cleaned up and they're yeah. fixing that up the their, stadiums their there athletic is, department the athletics is, is kicking. Dude, they whipped somebody's ass 87 to 3 last friday <laughs> you know that yeah did you know that football 87 to 3 Jesus. football's getting going but your, boy, your great, boy's gonna be a uh, future guest too. yeah for sure just, just a shoot that <laughs> jonathan a, Thurrell, just a throw yeah, coach yeah. jt jt <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I agree with you. And uh, we had Billy Babbitt on the show uh, last week, week before. I don't know. One of the <laughs> Four guests. weeks ago. No, she was last week. Oh, Billy Babbitt. I'm sorry. I thought you said Hank Babbitt. No, Billy My Babbitt. My apologies, but no. <laughs> she was two weeks ago. <laughs> Who's the sober one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, had Billy, Touché. we had Billy Babbitt on the show uh, last, last episode, and she's... Uh, director of Keep Terrible and Beautiful and she said the same thing. Uh, Hank Babbitt said the same thing. It's Quit just, throwing your shit in the body. It's retarded. Throwing stuff it's in the, so crazy Even Joe me, Boudreau like we talked about. Yeah, I mean, Joe Boudreau yeah, talks about the same thing. It's just Zach. I mean, that right there out of that back patio is, yeah. you know, it's a national, you know, it could so be a it's tragic. A beautiful resource. It could be a beautiful resource that we take advantage of and yeah. we'll take care of. Matt's been a big push. Matt Ori, I mentioned him earlier, has yeah. been a big push behind the scenes about doing stuff about you, Lafouche and Thibodeau. Mm-hmm. Man, that is such a cool area from like downtown to Nichols. Absolutely. That could be used, if nothing it's else, a, even 100%. like. It's so underutilized. The it same is big thing time. over here. Right, they're over talking there. about taking yeah. that weir out of the thing. It needs they, to come out. It needs to. It right. would bring the water up and like so much cool things could happen at that point. Yeah. My property values. Yeah. No. <laughs> Why would it not, right? We can be uh, we can be P Rog and Gator Cool as one. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Yeah. Going to my buddy Billy's house, man. He lives <laughs> on the bike. Yeah, we could float all the way down the bike then yeah. and be good. Float but it trail, just, there's just no reason for me to have to pack my kids up. I agree. And drive an hour to go see something cool. I agree. Yeah, and or go experience a water experience. Something different. Yeah, right. there's no reason there's for Like, that. even right now, you have to, like, you could go to Grand Isle, which is a cool beach experience, but you have to go an hour. Why can't we just do something right here cool with that? And I think Dean's doing something cool with the uh, sports, sports complex. My kids with, were there today. Dude, yeah, it's he's awesome. doing a lot of cool yeah. things there. They got the beach area. They got fishing. And we're working on something with Mr. Dean. It's uh, I think they're dealing with some lawyers right now and maybe some insurance liabilities. But 
we're trying to get involved with them over there too. That's, it, awesome. Yeah. that's awesome to me. Like just th- that my wife can take my kids to a safe place. That's like a, they don't know the difference that yeah. it's in home. It is. They no. think it's a beach. It's the coolest thing in the world. They have a good time. Right. Exactly. They, they have a great time. In the pond exactly. You know? But there's, it's just in downtown Thibodeau now that I moved back here and I see it in a different light from being, you know, like a kid to just wanting to party rocks to, and yeah. to having <laughs> families. Yeah. Yeah, there's just different. so much. It, it could improve so much, man. And so um, there's no reason why it doesn't. Right. Yeah, I feel like I that think, I'm, we're, I, we're putting ourselves or trying to anyway, put ourselves in a position to be able to help push that. I think everybody in the area, when you join forces, I think home of Thibodeau could be the baddest, you know, from the food and from, uh, cut off Galliano. Uh, I just say, better not leave Galliano out. Bro. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think, start at cut off. I think you can. I think you can go from from the Grand food. Isle, Grand Isle from the from food, Grand Isle the food. all the way to Thibodeau. Yeah. It'd be one of the best best places to visit. You know, in the country. Did y'all it see is. the Christmas lights at Pelche Park? It was very nice. There's no reason why we can't build Very on nice. that kind of stuff here. Very like, nice. why do I need to take my kids to go to New Orleans to go yeah, to Christmas Yeah, why well, I going to go to the Christmas yeah. and Oaks? And, and not shit. knocking that. That is great, and it's an experience for it adults, is. too. It's but cool, my but kids LJ don't know the Park difference of that. way big enough to do something like we that. We can definitely build on stuff, and I thought that was great. I found out about it too late, but I think that stuff like that is great. And, yeah. and Matt having that uh, floating deal with the Santa Claus yeah. in the bayou with cool. AMO lit up, you know, I think there's no it. reason why more stuff like that can't happen. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we need to start we doing need more do, events. We need to do those things. And, and that's I think, what we're going to do. And I think it's going to become from people like you and Noah and the South Louisiana veterans guys and it's, yeah. it, 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 that just kind of get together. And I think it's this generation. You have right. to put an effort in. That's yeah. what it is. Put we're the just, effort into your community. Because, yeah. look, we're not going nowhere. This is where we're at. You, yeah. Your uh, business is here. I mean, our kids are – everything's here. So we need to make this place a better yeah. place. And that's yeah. what we're trying to do with our boucherie to make downtown a better place. You know, because downtown almost got so much potential. Preserve well. a culture. Mm-hmm. Right. we got to keep mean, the culture, man. It's such Talking a cool culture, thing. Hit him with the big one. You play Pedro, bro? I don't play Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> this, all right, this mf don't eat Cajun food. And he don't play Pedro. He makes a cool <laughs> ice chest, though. But let me Listen. tell you what. He could skin a gator and make an ice chest. Listen, chair. in my you defense. Are, you are in my the defense. most interesting man in the world, bro. Let me bro. ask you a question. You with the Nichols? For, like, small time. Okay, so you wouldn't have learned that. No, so what happened was that I... I See what happened was you know, yeah. So I travel with baseball a lot, and my junior year, going into my senior year, I hurt my shoulder. Uh-huh. So I was a pitcher, hurt shoulder, don't work. Yeah. And I went to Nichols like for half a semester, and then the BP Horizon happened. Uh-huh. And I got a job offer that, wow. how are you going to pass up a yeah, couple grand in, a yeah. week, living on the beach next to Hooters in the Hard Rock? Like, as a young That's man. That's the best job I'll ever have in my life. Yeah, but, as a young man. Yeah, and then from that is where I met my girlfriend, which turned into my wife, um, and I started piping. At Hooters? No, not at all. <laughs> no. No. I mean, we went from that oil spill to pipelining. Yeah. And then I'm making 120000 a year as no a time helper. Learn, like, no time to learn Pedro, man. I no time. It. No. And then I'm working on Pedro. Wailed off of a mirror. I ain't worried about throwing Pedro. a five on a Pedro or which one's what. Yeah. yeah, no. Then you come oh, back got, and you're look, working. Look, you got two people back there that don't know how to play Pedro. Yeah. So I We think can't that, even make a team that... Sh- show of hands for who can tonight. play. <laughs> yeah. Show of hands for who can play Pedro. Y'all lost. Pedro, That's anybody? Yeah. We couldn't even. <laughs> bro, from Texas. You Ladies and gentlemen, y'all show up on you know, Wednesday uh, nights. What they call that? We uh, can't Mexican even sweat. Have... She yeah. knows Mexican sweat. I bet she could play. We can't and even you know have Pedro a game. Either. The Johnsons don't know how to play Pedro. We called even... him out. <laughs> we, can't, we can't even have a game tonight. Are y'all behind that shirt, Big Johnson? Is that you? Yeah. Yeah. Remember those shirts in school, Big Johnson? <laughs> oh, you get them in, uh, in Destin. Uh, you hide behind the thing and yeah. shoot what comes out. I don't know. Anymore. All right, All right <laughs> we good. Anything else? Shout out to everybody that uh, showed up tonight. We got snacks and food and those uh, first night. We didn't get that. They brought that for your birthday, bro. No, man. Birthday everybody guys, loves yeah. you. First man. time I, uh, I'm, I won't have to go home starving. <laughs> right. After the show. Absolutely right. <laughs> I appreciate you coming down, yeah, man. man. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, having you here. And we appreciate what you're doing, and we uh, appreciate
appreciate what you're doing for the community and stuff. Keep, yeah. keep it up, and uh, anything we can do to help, let us know. Thank yeah. you all for the invite, man. Absolutely. Really appreciate bro. it. We can't wait to keep rocking on with you, bro. And I'm going to talk to you later. are awesome. I'm going to talk to you later about the uh, purple and gold ice chest. Times two for us. And the sizes you make. 10, 20, 45, 70 with wheels, 110 with wheels. Thank you for coming, man. Really do appreciate yes, it. Sir. Once again, by Tebo and the Stillers, appreciate y'all having us. Thanks for having and, us. And uh, we out. Producer Norm. Boom. We out. Thank, Thank you, all you bro. For the Gator invite. Coolers. Appreciate it. Bye, y'all. Bye.